Hello, I'm Jeff Brown from Seattle Public Utilities' Engineering Records Vault. And in this video, I'll be demonstrating how to search for side sewer cards in the City of Seattle's Public Repository of Engineering Records, Seattle Digital Infrastructure Records, also known as CEDAR. The process of locating side sewer cards can be outlined in five steps. Locate the view dropdown and open the map search tool. Zoom to an address of interest. Draw a boundary around an area of interest. This step is optional, but highly recommended. Add a metadata filter or record category must contain side sewer cards. Finally, browse through the results to identify the card of interest. It should be mentioned here collection of side sewer cards in Seattle Digital Infrastructure Records stopped being updated in 2001. If you know your side sewer card is newer than 2001, contact Seattle Department of Construction and Inspection to obtain those records. The default view that is loaded anytime a user logs in to Seattle Digital Infrastructures is the list view. Different views can be chosen by clicking the drop-down towards the top right of the screen next to the Actions drop-down. Right now, it appears as a bulleted list since the list view is defaulted. Click this drop-down and it will show the four options for different views. For side sewer cards and most other records, the most helpful option to search with is Map View. To select it, scroll down and click Map. The first time the map is loaded for each user, the view is zoomed out to encompass the entire globe. Once rec records have been accessed, the map will be centered over the most recently accessed records. A quick way to zoom to different parts of the City of Seattle is to use the Fly to Address feature. This button is on the left-hand side of the map view, second from the bottom. Click it and input an address. I'll use the city, the address of the Seattle Municipal Tower, 700 Fifth Avenue. You'll notice that there are other cities with the same address in this list of addresses. So when using fly to address, be sure to select addresses in the city of Seattle. Next, it is useful to draw a boundary around an area of interest. Boundary tools are on the right side of the map view. There are two options for drawing boundaries, adding a rectangle boundary and adding a polygon boundary. We'll start with a rectangle. You can remove any boundary by clicking the Remove Boundary button that appears when a boundary has become active. The pop-up will ask, are you sure you want to remove the current spatial boundary? In this case, we do. Click Remove. Based on the orientation of the rectangle shape, I think a polygon will be most useful. To draw a polygon, select the Polygon tool and then click to place points wherever a vertice or a corner is desired. There is no limit to the number of corners or vertices to be placed. To cancel a polygon drawing while it is being drawn, use the Cancel Drawing button. To finish a polygon drawing, connect the final vertice or corner point with the starting point. Next, I'll add a metadata filter or record category must contain side sewer card to add filters, click into the main search bar towards the center to open the filter dropdown. Most of the metadata in CEDAR, or Seattle Digital Infrastructure Records, is kept in the metadata filter. However, title, number, and status can be useful too. I'll select metadata, which defaults to record category, there are other metadata fields that we can search on. Record category must contain 
side sewer cards. And then click search. There are 20 artifacts or side sewer cards that intersect or overlap with the area that has been drawn. Drawing a boundary is an optional step. Could have also, upon selecting the metadata filter, record category must contain side sewer cards, used the search here button, which is located at the top and center of the map view screen. Using search here essentially draws a box around the visible area represented in the map view. In this case, there are 28 artifacts in this area. So instead, I'll redraw the polygon boundary and clear the search. To clear any search and start over, click the clear button to the right of the search bar. You can zoom to any point on the map using a scroll bar on a mouse. And then we will add the metadata filter record category must contain side sewer cards and click search. Now all that is left to do is to browse the results. This can be done by scrolling through the search result pane on the left-hand side of the screen. The extent of each artifact or side sewer card in this case can be seen by clicking the scope icon to the right of any record. Records can also be browsed by indicating an area of interest on the map. This will select all the artifacts that overlap, intersect a clicked point. So we'll select this point by clicking on it. Here, there are six side sewer cards that overlap the point that my cursor selected. To browse through these, we can click the arrow icons located at the bottom of the white pop-up pane. The extent of each selected card will be highlighted in yellow, while other cards that intersect the point that we indicated are magenta. To open an artifact, either click the blue number that correlates to each file, or 880-3 in this case, or when browsing in the map view, click the details link. This will open the artifact view. In the artifact view, the view can be expanded or reduced uh, by shrinking the metadata pane by clicking the toggle sidebar button here to the right side of the image. The view can further be expanded by clicking the toggle expand, which will shrink the title area. You can zoom into records by using the zoom feature at the top of the image pane. And records can be rotated by clicking the image and hitting the letter R on the keyboard. That covers the process for finding side sewer cards in Seattle Digital Infrastructure Records. Thank you for watching and please see our other videos for more useful tips and tricks. If you have any questions or encounter any issues, please contact Cedar Support at Seattle.gov. That's S E A D I R S U P P O R T at Seattle.gov or use the help or chat tool in the top right corner of Cedar. The help tool appears as thought bubbles, or the chat tool appears as thought bubbles, and the help tool a question mark. Thanks again for watching.